we feed the mind in the meditation because the mind needs good food, because it needs strength. We get by on strength of body and strength of mind. And strength of mind is the more important of the two. When the body is weak, if your mind is still strong, you can still go. You can still maintain the goodness of the mind, which is important. But if, even if the body is strong but the mind is weak, it's really hard to do what's good. It's really hard to wisely look after yourself. So we feed the mind on concentration. We remind ourselves that what we do really does make a difference. That's what the first food is about, the food of conviction, that our actions really do make a difference. And we have to be careful about what we do. We may have made mistakes in the past, but we don't have to make the mistakes again. We don't have to get tied up in remorse, because that just pulls you down. You just say, okay, I made mistakes, but I'm going to do what's good right now. I'm going to refrain from those past mistakes. That's what persistence is about. Now you have to remember that, too. That's mindfulness. And to strengthen all these things, you need concentration. That's the food for all these other qualities. So feed the mind well. Get, get it still with the breath, at ease with the breath. When the mind is still, it gains strength. And you, that strength then becomes a good foundation for your discernment, so you can see what you did that was wrong, why did you do it? And you can dig down into the mind and ferret it out. Without the concentration, you can't see that clearly. And you don't have the strength to do that, because sometimes it requires looking at things inside yourself you don't like to see. But if you're going to get down to what's real, of real value inside, you have to go past what you don't like to see and come out the other side. So we need this kind of strength as we meditate. Get the mind still, get the mind solidly right here, so it's not moved around easily by anything at all. As it, the Buddha said to Rahula, make your mind like earth. People throw disgusting things in the earth, but the earth doesn't shrink away. There are things in the world that we don't like, but we don't have to shrink away from them. We can keep our minds solid in the face of them, and that's how we start to see the truth, and especially the truth inside of ourselves. So we can work our way clear past what we don't like to see inside ourselves to see that there's something really of great value in here. And it's worth all the other hardships to get down into that into that dimension inside. 